Hello, it's Riyad and welcome to the second video of uh, ITE Cardiovascular Internal Medicine Board Review. And uh, actually the topic of the second video is antiplatelet medication in stent patients. And usually I'm talking about drug abusing stent patients with the surgical bleedings. And you know, I, you know, I feel this topic is a kind of confusing. So what, I, what we did, basically I made X axis and Y axis. The X axis is a bleeding risk. And if you will go to the x-axis, I mean, how much far you will go with the x-axis, you will have major bleeding risk. So basically here you can say it's major surgery, right? And here is a kind of minor surgery or minor bleeding risk or minor surgery. And if you will go to the y-axis, you will see the thrombosis, major, basically it's major thrombosis risk. And if you will go down more than six months after a stent, you will see minor or moderate uh, thrombosis risk. And now we will divide it into some boxes. So, so into some boxes, and it's very easy how to treat. So let's let's see, or let's start with E and F, which is basically the end. Sorry, let's start with E and F. If you have minor surgery, whether it is moderate risk of thrombosis or major risk of thrombosis, you will continue with aspirin. Continue with aspirin. Don't stop it. If you have intermediate surgery. Look at this, it's intermediate surgery, again, whether it's moderate thrombosis or major thrombosis, again, continue with aspirin. So you will continue, guys, with aspirin, whether the surgery is minor in case of dental, dermatological surgery, cataract surgery, or even if it is intermediate in case of GI surgery or endoscopy. Now, the question is, if there is major bleeding, but major thrombosis or even moderate thrombosis, you will stop aspirin. And this is the only way that basically you will stop aspirin. I mean, the only time you will stop aspirin. So I can say, if it is major bleeding, stop aspirin. Put into your mind, you cannot postpone the surgery because the first treatment, it tried to postpone surgery, guys. So first, we'll try to postpone the surgery for six months to one year. If we cannot postpone the surgery, now at this time, we can uh, stop aspirin. Okay, we can stop aspirin. So let's go again together. If it is minor or intermediate, continue aspirin. If it is major, look at the duration. Both of the duration, whether it's high thrombosis risk or low thrombosis risk, you have to stop aspirin if you cannot postpone the surgery again. If you cannot postpone the surgery. Now, how about the platex? Now, how about the platex or clobidocryl? A clobidocryl, you can here continue with the clobidocryl with minor or continue with the clobidocryl with minor, with minor surgery, whether moderate thrombosis or, or low thrombosis. So we can say clobidocryl positive here and the clobidocryl positive there. So continue with the clobidocryl here. Now, intermediate and above, stop it. Is it easy? Intermediate and above, stop the clobidocryl. That's it. Clobidocryl. Intermediate and above, stop the clobidocryl. Again, don't forget, if it is okay, if you can postpone it, postpone it. This is the major things, guys. Please, again, let me highlight this, maybe here. If you can post, oh, no, this will not work. Okay, let me, maybe, oh, that's too much. Yeah, it's, if you can postpone it, sorry for this guy. If you can postpone it, so postpone the surgery first. If you cannot, if you cannot, I mean, what you're going to do, just, you know, continue with the Plavix or stop the Plavix. So stop the Plavix, sorry. Stop the flavic if it's intermediate or major. So you'll stop a clobidocryl, but what you need? You need to get the patient something which is basically heparin. That's why you will see heparin. I made heparin, this is by in the middle, to just to in the middle between intermediate and high risk. Because intermediate and high risk treatment is almost the same. So again, for intermediate, for sorry, for high risk patient, it depends, it depends how the patient is high risk. Sorry. So again, for high-risk patient, if the patient is high-risk for a bleeding and high-risk for a thrombosis, postpone the surgery first. If low, if low for a thrombosis, and you can do it, so just, you know, just stop a plavix. Just stop a plavix, uh, just stop a clobidogrel in this case. So here you can say, stop a clobidogrel. So clobidogrel negative. So stop a clobidogrel, whether it's intermediate or major. And then substitute with heparin if you cannot postpone it. I hope this is uh, this is easy because really it's a kind of confusing when you go to the article and you will go back to this article. It's, it's, it's really interesting. So again, let's make final final review. 
continued aspirin, whether it's minor or major surgery, is topical epidural, whether it's intermediate or major surgery, if you cannot postpone the surgery. And makes sense because you will stop epidural, so definitely you will stop aspirin. Okay, and you have you need to substitution which is heparin. So for the surgical type or intermediate, usually it is GI surgery or endoscopy. Minor, I talk about dermatology, cataract, dental. Major surgery patient came with a neurosurgical with a neurosurgical procedure. So neurosurgical procedure does not make sense to continue with aspirin and clopidogrel, please. So you will stop aspirin and clopidogrel whether it is high thrombosis or low thrombosis risk. Hopefully this is a kind of um, beneficial to you I'm not sure how much I'm trying to I, I really tried harder to get it right as much as I can but feel free if there is any problem or any mistake in this diagram feel free any comment uh, will be more than happy to maybe update it next time thank you guys and see you soon